Welcome to November in Poland. Yeah, this is the start of the, let's say, the bad weather season, where many people start thinking about staying indoors rather than going out and enjoying life. So this video is going to talk about Polish weather. When I first moved to Poland, I was quite surprised because the weather was, shall we say, a lot more consistent than the UK. In fact, when I very first moved here in February 2018, there was snow everywhere, which uh, I wasn't quite accustomed to. So I found also that the springs and the autumns are very beautiful and the summers are glorious. So this video is going to be doing maybe a month by month, maybe a season by season. I haven't decided yet. Kind of review of Polish weather and what you can expect. Of course, please bear in mind, weather is always changeable. You're never quite sure. But hopefully, if you're planning a trip here, then this will give you an idea. Dzień dobry and welcome to A Brit in Poland. This channel is going to bring you everything you need to know about Poland. I am exploring the country, bringing you the history, trying to tell you about the culture and show you what it is really like to live here. So feel free to check out my other media, Instagram, Facebook, and I will share links to those in the comments. I also have a website, www.britinpoland.com, where I collate my videos for easy to view manner. Also, you are welcome to contribute to my efforts through Patronite or Patreon, and all descriptions are available below the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and please come back for more by subscribing, liking, or commenting. Thank you very much. Dalsa Vichenia. So we're going to start this video by talking about spring, and we're going to take you through month by month activities. So starting with March, where the literal translation of Marjet is to get cold. It's part of Shed Fiosnia, which is kind of a pre-spring. And this is uh, marked by the drowning of Marjana, a doll that is the symbol of the goddess Mara, demon of death, night and winter. March is a bit of a mixed month in terms of weather. Temperatures generally range from sort of 7 to minus 1 degrees Celsius. And there is an expression, March is like a pot, probably because it's quite mixed. So you get this kind of period where, oh, it's looking sunny and warm and promising. And then it descends into cold, possibly even snow again. So it's a bit hard to plan your activities in March, but it's that beginning hopeful part of the season. April or Kvyechen is the season of flowers or blooming, if you translate the word literally. And temperatures range from 14 to, sorry, 15 to 4 degrees Celsius, so a nice bit of a jump from, from March. It's still a little bit unpredictable. Uh, there's an expression, April is full of flowers because it intertwines a little bit of winter, a little bit of summer. It's also Easter, generally, so you're talking about egg painting and water fights. And it's, yeah, as you can see here, a bit of a mixture of weather, so again, a little bit unpredictable. That's why the Polish winters feel so long, because you have this continual fret of uh, snow or wind or rain but you can also have lovely days like this and this was I think the last day of April now May or um, May means uh, the goddess Maya representing growth and it's the month of Mayuvka uh, which is kind of a picnic but it's also like a long weekend the first of May in my records has normally been pretty good and generally may i've seen both sunny and wet mays but more lately sunny ones uh, the expression for may is if there is rain in may there will be drought in june 
and trying to kind of take as many expressions as I can. Uh, there's another expression for spring in general called one swallow does not make a spring. But May is generally when people will start to do their holiday making around Poland. It's normally a quieter time of year. But it's also quite a beautiful time of year as you're really starting to see the flowers come out. So it's nice to get out there and explore. And one thing I want to note about this video is all of these shots were taken in their respective months. So I hope it gives you a nice demonstration. So we're going to move into summer, uh, which is technically like the 22nd of June to like the 20th of September or something like that. But we're going to focus on uh, June through August. So June or Cherviets, well, Cherviets means bee larvae, uh, which is used to make a red dye, uh, which was exported worldwide. And an expression for June is, in June, we will see what God will give us as a gift. Temperatures range from around 23 to 12 degrees, so it's definitely a bit warmer. It's my favorite season to go traveling because it's not insanely hot. Uh, and also people haven't taken school holidays, so the beaches aren't packed yet. In fact, I've definitely been to quite a few beaches that have been deserted in June, which has been a bit surprising. Uh, so generally, I try to plan my, my longer trips here. Of course, the summer is more noted for people going to the seaside. Um, me personally, I like the sea, but I don't like crowds. Uh, so I tend to spend this time visiting pretty much anywhere else, unless I have a good reason uh, to go to the sea. It's a beautiful time of year, and I really look forward to it. Now, July is when things really start to, to hot up. Uh, so Lipietz, it's a linden tree. Um, and that blooms in this month, so that's where the name comes from. Uh, temperatures range from about 25 to 14 degrees, but don't be surprised if you see them go above 30. It's uh, The expression for July is July is hot, January is frosty. Um, yeah, I'm sure that these expressions in the original Polish are perhaps more artistic, uh, but the literal translations sound a bit, sometimes a bit flat in English. Uh, so July is definitely another very popular tourist season. It's when a lot of the school holidays are, are in. The beaches are going to be packed. but And the weather, it can be quite unbearable at times because of the heat. So make sure you stay hydrated and wear that sunblock or suntan lotion if you're from the UK. August or uh, Sherpian. So Sherpian means it's a sickle uh, which is used for cutting grass or hay. And August ranges from what, 25 to 14, similar to July, but again, it can be you know a lot hotter than that. Also, in my experience, August is often when you're most likely to see a few storms. Uh, so you tend to get some pretty intense lightning um, at times during this month. Otherwise, it's just gloriously hot. Um, and the expression is, the beginnings of August are sunny and predict mild winters. It's definitely uh, a good time for the lakes, uh, for coastal resorts. And it's a key the summer season is a key season for traveling around because certain train lines and buses, especially to the coast, only operate during these months. Uh, you find that Poland is very seasonal. So we're going to get into September. So September, what is the expression I have for that? Yeah, I've kind of included this in summer, though I meant to put it into autumn. So, uh, like the first September, so will autumn be. Um, September in Polish is wrzesień, which um, is a kind of heather um, and that blooms in this month. Temperatures are, well, it says 19 to, to 9 on average, but for sure 
it's definitely a lot warmer than that. Um, it's the beginning of what they call the uh, golden autumn. And the beginning is marked by Babia Lato or Old Widow Summer. And it's one of those times where it's still great to travel around Poland. The weather is normally pretty consistent. Um, you're expecting to have some nice sunny days. Obviously, the sun is beginning to set a little bit earlier as you go along. But I still love it for traveling. It's awesome. Okay, so going fully into autumn, because September still feels mainly like summer. Um, we're going to start with October. So October is Pazdiernik. Um, which are dry stalks of flax, apparently. The weather can be quite mixed in October. In recent years, it's been quite sunny. It's been pretty warm. One thing to note is from October, the kind of fountains and water features, like ponds and things like that, are generally drained. And I think this is ahead of those cold winters we're going to get to soon, because otherwise they would freeze over. <clears throat> so if you're visiting cities, um, you know, they're not going to look as magnificent magnificent when the, uh, of course, the water features aren't, look, aren't working and some of the places are dried out a bit. But it's still a really nice uh, time to spend in Poland. You start to really see the leaves changing colour, hence this expression, uh, Zwota... Polska Yeshin or Golden Polish Autumn. And it's a, a lovely place to get out into nature. So in November, or Listopad, and Listopad has a great translation. It is literally falling leaves. Temperatures are said to range from like 7 to 1 degrees. Uh, again, these are averages. Uh, the beginning of November is marked by All Saints Day. And this is a you know, very powerful tradition in Poland. And if you look into the kind of pagan beliefs, <clears throat> they say that because the temperatures really drop in November, they say it's because ghosts visit the earth. And this kind of links in uh, with this festival. There's a whole other video I've done if you want to understand uh, that one. Uh, the leaves are still looking amazing at the beginning of the month but they soon start to fall completely. I look out my window now and we've had snow today and there's uh, yeah, a lot fewer leaves on the trees, but you get some amazing colors. Here we went to uh, Roguv. So the expression for uh, November is uh, the November sun announces frosts. And yeah, it is definitely definitely getting colder it's when i generally tend to put on my warmer jumper maybe switch to some decent shoes and put on a heavier coat but winter in poland that's when you really notice the difference so winter is quite characterized by snow not constantly and it varies each year but it's certainly common so december or grudgian Grudzian means gruda, which is a frozen and hardened piece of ground, so quite an apt description. Temperatures range from like 3 to minus 3 degrees. Um, one proverb is, December is a baffling month, sometimes severe, sometimes nice, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, the beginning is, uh, of winter is marked by the festivities of sun or mating day. Uh, so from Christmas Eve to Twelfth Night. And of course, you have a lot of Christmas markets and Christmas lights uh, going on in the cities. Uh, so this is how the Polish counteract the depressing cold and darkness by filling the cities and villages and towns full of lights. And you, you see some of my favorite Christmas markets here, like in Wroclaw. And we're going to go to Gdansk. You know, uh, Krakow, of course, has a very nice one as well. Warsaw focuses more on the lights than the, the Christmas market. They, they could do a little bit more with that, I feel. 
So, of course, the winter is a great time for skiing in Poland, and this is quite a popular activity. In the UK, we consider skiing to be something for the richer folk, but certainly in Poland, it's a bit more common. So, January or Stitchen. So, Stitchen is an interesting word. It means to kind of combine or like bring stitch things together. And <clears throat> a lot of people say it's to do with bringing you know, the seasons together or the years together. Uh, in pagan times, it was actually referred to when the sun and moon would touch each other in the sky. So that's quite an ample thing. Um, so the temperature is about one to minus four degrees. So definitely expect there to be some snow. Uh, January cools everything, land, animals and people. So, yeah, it's it's a slightly brutal month of the year. Certainly, if you like snow, it, it can be fun. Um, Poland is very good with salting, uh, you know, the streets, actually, much better than the UK. So it's uh, unlikely that you're going to slip on a patch of ice. But, of course, do be wary when you're out and about, especially if you're outside. We often do a few hikes. And you still have a lot of these lights uh, sticking around in January which is always nice. So February or luti. Um, so luti means frosty or freezing. Um, temperature is free to minus free. So again, still very cold. People are depressed. The expression is hobnail your boots before February. So it's a t definitely a challenging few months in Poland. So if you really like the cold, it's a good month, a good uh, country to spend time. As I've said, the mountains are beautiful, covered in snow, and that snow will actually last uh, through till a till May, pretty much. But it's still worth exploring. I mean, I have to admit, I try to save the best places on my list of places to go. Uh, for those summer months just to get the best images because you know during your spring and your kind of autumn it's a little bit less reliable during winter I try not to go to any big cities unless I'm going to a Christmas market but I hope you, you you've seen that there is kind of like a six seasons and in pagan times again they had these six seasons couple of other random facts uh, Dolny Shlansk in the southwest is the warmest part of the country. And Suvalki in the northeast is the coldest part of the country. So I hope you've learned a little bit about weather in Poland for your planning activities or even your historical research. Thank you very much for watching. Do zobaczenia.